Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and it is well received more than you will ever truck and know. So what I need you to do right now, Pisces, is I need you to give me all your fun, loving, exuberant energy that you have. You can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment. You can share. You can subscribe. You can just do all those beautiful, sexy things that you do to me so well here at Talia's Tarot. So, you know what's next. I'm going to put down the holy water. Oh, so good. Oh, fudge sickle. <laughs> so, Pisces, Tarot is now in session. The Honorable T.T. Dong presiding. You may all be seated. Oh, 111, baby. 111. And it's 111. I'm literally at 111. Oh, doing this video right now. And a uh, gavel slams at 111 almost every single trucking time. So, <laughs> and I woke up today at 1111. <laughs> I know it's just the weirdest thing. I don't know. It just doesn't stop for me. <laughs> I'm just thankful to be here each and every single day. I'm grateful for each and every single one of you, and I just really hope that your day is as special as you are, my beautiful Pisces. So, you know what's next. We're going to check in on the energy of the person that my beautiful Pisces is dealing with at this time. <sighs> Got the windows open. I'm getting some fresh air in the house, clearing out the old air, fresh energy in the house. <coughs> so... Show me the energy. Whoa. Oh, the chariot right out of the top of the gate here. Oh. Show me the energy, the person, my beautiful. Okay. Queen of Wands. Okay. Show me the energy, the person, my beautiful. Sure. Knight of Swords. I felt that stuff. Down at the bottom of the table, Pisces, or the bottom of the deck, crossing all this energy. It is the Five of Cups here. Okay. It looks like somebody's worried here. Somebody messed something up here. Mm-hmm. Yep, somebody has messed something up. They've been thinking about exactly what they've done here. Uh, this person feels like it might be too late or time is running out here. So, um, Pisces, down on the table we have the chariot. Queen of Wands, the Knight of Swords, excuse me. Ooh, ooh, air. Air. Air in my body. Oh, <laughs> chariot. It's all about forward movement here. Pisces. So this person here is wanting to move this situation here forward. In what direction? I don't know. Maybe they're wanting to move away from you or maybe they're just wanting to move towards you. I don't know. Queen of Wands energy. Your person could be embodying this energy. This person could view you as this energy. Um, we'll have to clarify a little bit more. Um, if it's not a court card, then this person's embodying the energy here of the Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands is, um, you know, somebody who's very attractive. Um, it's kind of surface level energy. It's all about their looks, their charm, uh, their charisma. And then we have the Knight of Wands. So uh, something quick here. Your person's wanting to take some kind of quick moving action here. But we're going to find out what's going on. So. What do we do? We're going to go in on the Knight of Swords because you know I like a good sword fight here at Talia's Tarot. Ha 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 So, show me the Knight of Wands. Okay, Knight of Wands and person, Pisces person's energy. It is the Six of Swords. <clears throat> I feel like this person crossing this energy right now, it's the Wheel of Fortune. Um, Yeah, just like I said, if, you know, right just two seconds ago, um, time is slipping. Time keeps on slipping, slipping. I hate that song too. And do, but time is slipping away right now. And this person knows that they need to, to, to get on this wheel of fortune really quickly here. And in the, in between all these, uh, different, you know, animals here in this particular deck here, um, we got elephants here. So elephants never forget. Um, elephants, you know, they live together for the rest of their lives, right? They go in big stampedes here. But 
the thing of it is, is Pisces, if this person doesn't get on this wheel of fortune between these elephants just at the right time here, this person is likely to get ejected off the wheel of fortune, which means what? It means bad timing. So your person here, it's all about timing here right now. Okay. All right. Okay. So show me more on the six of swords and Pisces person's energy. Let's go. Six of swords. What's the six of swords? Oh, page of cups. Yeah. Pisces. This person that you're dealing with is smitten about you. Crossing that here, it is the Three of Swords here. So, Pisces, something here, I don't know. This person that you're dealing with here, um, I feel like you've already dealt with them. Because we had the Five of Cups energy here uh, with the crossing energy out on the table right from the beginning here. So, I'm feeling like this person's feeling uh, heartbreak right now. It's like their heart here... Uh, it's kind of the driving catalyst here to make this person come forward to you here. Um, so there has been something here that this person did mess up here. But I can I can tell you this much right now. This person that you're dealing with, they care a lot about you here. Because you never feel the Three of Swords energy unless you care about somebody. Unless there's love there. Uh, you know, genuine love here. Or just, you know, caring about a friend here. Okay? So this person is like in heartache right now. Okay? And here they are, Pisces. They've been sitting here, smitten about you, daydream about you. Oh, Pisces. There they got their cup of love here. They're looking down into it. They've been looking down into a lot of other bottles, too, as well. I can tell you that much here, Pisces. But right now, this person has got a lot of love for you here. And uh, I feel like there's going to be... Mm -hmm, I feel like there's going to be something coming in here from this person. Uh, as far as, you know, emotional... Something about love here. I feel like this person is in love with you here. <laughs> I'm just getting it. I don't know. They're smitten over you. Like, I, I feel like there's nobody else out there like you. This person has ran into a lot of different situations in their life here. And it all just keeps coming back to you here at the end of the day, Pisces. So we're going to go more in on the Page of Cups. Oh, look at my beautiful cards. Look at all the light. Oh, as I'm shuffling, can you guys see my shadow puppets? Look at that. Oh, wow. Look at all that light. That's beautiful. I don't know if you guys, I can see. There's light going through all my house right now. So show me more of the Page of Cups. What's going on with the Page of Cups? Why is the Page of Cups here, please? Page of Cups. Yeah, Pisces. Very attracted to you, Pisces. <laughs> this person has got a lot of love for you here. Um, this person here, I feel like they're growing stronger and stronger, like day by day. They're they're the way they feel about you is growing stronger and stronger day by day, right? It's like they can't. I can't find nobody like you, Pisces. No, nope, they can't. And this person feels like they have all of everything that they need here in order to manifest like something here with you, Pisces, right? And I feel like this person at the end of the day, they want to coil their snake right around your rod here. <laughs> there will be no coiling, Talia. Not in this courtroom. Oh my God. And I totally forgot to hit the gavel. Wow. I'm slacking, guys. Woo. I'm just going to say it hasn't, I haven't really had a great time the last 24 hours. I won't get into it, but you know, whew, it was an energy sucker here for me. So I want to see why the pay, or the Queen of Wands is here. I'm curious to see if this is their energy or if it's, it's, oh, Pisces. Yeah, it's your energy. This person is super attracted to you. There's roses everywhere here, Pisces. Roses, roses, roses. Uh, it's like you make this person feel rosy red here at the end of the day, Pisces. Maybe this person wants to give you some roses here. It's the sun card. Pisces, this person is literally, they sit around and they think about you here all day long. They sit around all day long. Page of Cups energy here, sitting around, thinking about you all day long, looking at their cup of love, looking in there, seeing how empty their life is right now without you, Pisces. And then we have the sun card. It's like this person, they could literally, 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 um, you know, be looking at pictures of you all day long, just smitten over you. I feel like you make the, like this solar plexus, this person's solar plexus chakra 
lights up like the sun that it should be when they think about you. This person is, <clears throat> they find you extremely, extremely attractive here, Pisces. So show me more on the sun card, please, for Pisces person's energy. What's the sun card, top to bottom, one more time? Show me the sun, top to bottom, let's go. Show me the sun card and Pisces person's energy. What's the sun card? Sun card and Pisces person's energy. Show me the sun. What's the sun? Oh boy, it's a lot of stuff here, Pisces. Oh boy, lots of cards wanted to come out here. <clears throat> Pisces. King of Cups crossing all this energy and all these cards wanted to flip out, right? The Six of Wands. Uh, I feel like this person's trying to get your attention right now, right? They don't know how to do it. Right now, they're doing it in the most dangerous, fashionable way that they possibly can here, Pisces. Here you are, Pisces. You're busy, focused on your own land, light. Your own light. Yeah, your own light. Your own land. Your own things. You're getting things done in your life, Pisces. So you've been very much focused on yourself. And I feel like you got this person up here. Here they are. They're like, Pisces! Pisces, just say me! Pisces! And it's like, oh, well, it's getting blurry. So, of course, you can't see them. <laughs> oh, there they go. They're like, you're like, what is this mother trucker doing? Does this mother trucker see that this propeller here is going? And if they, uh... Jump down, they could get chopped and, you know, shredded here to bits. Well, maybe if that's the only way I can get you to see me, Pisces, that's what I'll do. <laughs> Pisces, it's the lover's card here. Pisces. <laughs> oh, my God. This person views you as somebody who... <clears throat> you've been through a lot, Pisces. Right? There's been a lot of... You've had a lot of bad times in your life here. A lot of things that you had to get through. Um, you know, it could even be physical things that you've went through here. There's been a lot of scars here. And this person looks at you like like you're just unflawed here, right? Unflawed. Does does she, does she love me? Does she love me not? Does he love me? Does he love me not? Does he want me? Does he want me not? Does she love me? I mean, Pisces, this person they, they're in love with you. We got, this is just, it's just like, this is amazing here. Just straight up amazing here. So it's like the Ten of Swords. I feel like this person is scared that this could honestly end, Pisces, if they keep him hoeing around here. And here's your person, him hoeing around here. Not taking any action, trying to figure out what they can do. So this person is in love with you and they just haven't told you. And... Pisces, it's like the time's running out here for this person. It's like tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. And I feel like you've dealt with this person on some kind of level here. I don't know what kind of level, but I know that they messed something up here, Pisces. I don't know. Because if Five of Cups was crossing all this energy right from the get-go. So I feel like... And it was two cups, you know. It was like this person could have been like, I'm not ready for a relationship right now, Pisces. I've been through so much heartache. I just don't know if I, I don't think I'm ever going to be able to be ready for a relationship here. But whatever's happened in this person's energy now, once they told you that, Pisces, I feel like you were just like, right on, right on, Donkey Kong. And I got other stuff to do. I'm not waiting around on you. And you probably just kind of tiptoed off and... You know, you were like, I got shit to do. I'm not wasting my time on you. And you started you started doing your own thing here, Pisces. And what happened was, was when you started doing that, focusing in on your own energy and your own things, just like you did here in this uh, Six of Wands energy, working on your light, like I said, working on your projects, just working on you, Pisces. That's here is when this person was like, fuck, I want Pisces' attention. I'm in love with Pisces, and I'm scared that this is going to end if I don't do something soon here. So, Pisces, let's go to the chariot here. What can we see with the chariot, please, for Pisces person's energy? Oh, that's my cat. Oh, he's got the sneezes. <gasps> you okay, buddy? Oh, did you get too much fresh air? <gasps> you okay, Louie? Bailiff? He's okay. He's okay. Sorry, that was, that was Louie. Bailiff Louie, he was sneezing. 
Chariot. Show me the chariot, Pisces person's energy. Let's go, chariot. Chariot. Yeah, this person is needing the strength here. It's like this person's working up enough courage here to say, hey, Pisces, you know, I, I, I want to come towards you here. I think we could have something long-term here. I think we could have something successful here. And at the end of the day, Pisces, this person, they're, they're in love with you here, Pisces. So let's go ahead. I'm going to get uh, the three final messages here on what this person wants to say. And then I'm going to get one card for each sign. And hopefully I don't mess this mother trucker up again. Oh, look at the beautiful light. Thank God for the light. Give me the golden light any day. What else do you want to tell my Pisces before we close off this reading, please? Sure. Four of Cups, yeah. They rejected you here in the past, Pisces, like I said. I knew it. They rejected you. You told this person you wanted something more, and then they just didn't, ha they didn't have it. Pisces, it's the sun card here. The sun right down. Pisces, the sun's already out here once, and the sun is out here again. It's twice here. This is just reconfirming what I've just said right down the top, the bottom of the row here, which is that this person's in love with you here. So if this person hasn't told you that yet, Pisces, this person is going to tell you that. And it's all about timing here, Wheel of Fortune. And if you play back the video, Pisces, I said it was all about timing here. This person is waiting to get on this Wheel of Fortune at the right time so they don't get ejected off. So we'll do one card for each sign. Pisces, dealing with Pisces. How does Pisces feel about Pisces, please? Pisces, how do you feel about... Okay. Oh, boy. Well, Pisces... <laughs> oh, this person here, they're feeling uh, pretty left out in the cold here. Oh, Cancer, dealing with Pisces. How does Cancer... Deal? And they're kind of... And Pisces, this person is very sad about it. Okay, Cancer, um, dealing with Pisces. Uh, cancer either has some bad news that they want to tell you, or they've been looking for information here about you, Pisces. It's one of the two. I can't, I, it's not real clear right now. Scorpio, how do you feel about Pisces? How does Scorpio feel about Pisces, please? Scorpio, they're going through judgment right now. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. They're going through a wake the truck up call. Okay. Aries dealing with Pisces. How does Aries? Aries, Aries, Aries is three of swords. They care a lot about you. And they're absolutely heartbroken over what has ever happened here. Leo, how do you feel about Pisces? Leo, how does Leo, 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 Leo? Okay, well, oh boy. They're taking the high road here. Uh, so you guys might not be talking right now. Sagittarius, how do you feel about Pisces? Sagittarius. Okay, I feel like this Sagittarius thinks you're very intuitive, and I believe that the both of you are not talking right now. Libra, how do you feel about Pisces? Libra, ay 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 ay, they feel like this is over. Oh shit! Gemini, how do you feel about Pisces? Okay, they need to make a decision here. They have not made a decision, and they are trying to make a decision here. And uh, they don't want to rock the boat too much. Aquarius, how do you feel about Pisces? Okay. Uh, they want equal give and take. Virgo, how do you feel about Pisces? Virgo's feeling left out in the cold. Taurus, how do you feel about Pisces? Okay, communication. They want to communicate to you. Capricorn, how do you feel about Pisces? Nope, too many cards, too many cards. They're really excited. Capricorn's really excited about you, though. What's going on, Capricorn? How do you feel about Pisces? Let's go. Well, this Capricorn is holding back right now. So, Pisces, tarot's been adjourned. You know what to do on the way out.